Let's take a look inside this magnetic compass. It's been removed from a Cessna 152, but it could have been the compass in any aircraft, be it a 767, an Airbus 380, even the space shuttle is going to have one of these in. Here's a lubber line. Here's the screws that the engineers would use when they're doing a compass swing to create the deviation card. So I'll remove the screws and we'll have a look inside. Now there's quite a bit of fluid in there. So I'm just going to use this cloth to pour that into. And we'll remove the back. The rubber seal. So inside the magnetic compass is just a pivot. There's nothing really to that at all. And here's the actual magnet. There's the pivot point, which obviously is raised very high to give the magnet a bit of stability. And that's it, there's nothing to this really. I can see here, there's a little weight being soldered in, and that's obviously just to balance it. But other than that, it's relatively simple.